In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add the right structured data or schema to images on your WordPress website so that Google, other search engines, and of course, people can understand and know what is the appropriate license you want to be associated with those images. And of course, also provide them a way to legally license your images if you want to allow that to happen on your WordPress website. I'm Yuvraj from the Brainstorm Force team. We're the makers of the Astra theme for WordPress. And of course, we're also the makers of Schema Pro and other amazing WordPress products. So let's start with the demonstration. So first, let's take a look on Google's guidelines on how to add the appropriate structured data to images and also what are the advantages of adding the structured data. So I'm on the Google Search Central uh, developer, I'd say blog or website. And there's a dedicated blog post, or I'd say whatever you can say, it's, it's a post about image licensing in Google Images, which is one of the advantages of having the right structured data on your website. Because let's say you're, you're a website owner and you have a lot of images, Google will of course uh, index your images and based on the keywords you might, or other people might find your images on Google Images. And if they don't have the appropriate information about the licensing of the image right there in Google search, then they might, uh, unintentionally use your images or just copy the image, download the image and use it somewhere they are not supposed to. That is why it's important to have the right structured data so that Google can understand and appropriately show the information, which I'm going to demonstrate right here, on what is the licensing options available for the image. So here's a demonstration or example by Google directly. Uh, I'll just zoom in right here on the screen so that you can say uh, or you can see that once the or Google uh, understands the structured data regarding licensing on your WordPress website regarding the images, it will show up some additional details, right? So it will show license details and want to uh, know where the information came from and other details. And of course, it will also show a licensing watermark. Let me zoom in right here so that uh, anytime somebody is trying to find images on Google Images and they are uh, free to, or I say, they're willing to pay for a license or appropriately follow the license guidelines, they will be properly uh, informed by Google directly that what is the licensing information or what is the license for the image. And that is one of the key advantages uh, right here. And of course, if other people discover uh, uh, images in any other way. For example, let's say on your own website, you can of course add more details about how they can find the appropriate licensing information and also how they can appropriately purchase a license or buy a license or rent, whatever the licensing details are. So this is the one of the key advantages because if Google understands it, uh, most people will understand where or most people will follow or understand, get the right licensing information, that's the right word, where they are looking for certain kind of images because that's where a lot of confusions happen, right? People don't know what the licensing is and they, they use the images and then uh, later it's a problem. So with that information, let's head into WordPress and I'll show you how to add the appropriate information on your WordPress website so that this can happen to your images as well. And we're inside the magical world of WordPress now. And of course, I have Schema Pro already installed on my website, updated to the latest version. And what I'm going to do is go to Settings, Schema Pro to access Schema Pro's all the settings. And this is the Schemas page where you'll see all the schemas that you have created with Schema Pro. Since this is a demo website, I haven't added any schema right now. That will change that by clicking the Add New button. And of course, since this video is about image licensing, I'll choose the image licensing schema, which is latest or just added in the 2.7 version. So make sure that you're updated to the latest version if you want to use this, or if you don't see it, just make sure to update. I'll choose that, I'll go to the next option. And here I'll have the targeting options. Now, if you don't already know, we've done a, a bunch of videos about Schema Pro, how the targeting options work. In simplest words, uh, these options let you add or enable or disable the type of schema that you're adding in this case it's the image schema or image license schema to any of the pages on your website so they give you complete control over what you want to do just to keep things simple what i'm going to do is just keep this to all singles that means all singular pages on my website all the posts all the pages and just click the next button and the schema is ready let's click the schema or complete the process by clicking the complete setup button the schema is now created and we are in the edit schema option or edit schema page where we'll be making some changes to how the schema appears on individual pages on our site. And right now these options are the ones that we already set. You have the option of naming the image schema, which I uh, usually you won't need to do because image licensing, uh, you won't need to create a lot of schema types, but you have the targeting options if you want to go back and change them in the future. And then the most important part of this entire segment or this page is the all schema feels right here. And we also usually include a blog post to one of our website's blog posts about specific uh, specific kind of schema that 
uh, the page is about. So let's say this guidelines, when you click this, you'll read more about the image guidelines or image license schema. And if you're not up to date with what's happening, usually we'll have a steps there included as well. So you can click this link right here and go to the blog post. So coming to the image license feature. Now here you have only three fields and two of them are uh, mandatory fields, which you can see or note by looking at this red asterisk right here, you have these two fields are mandatory to add and this is an optional field. Let me explain what these fields are. So the first field is the content URL, which is the URL of the image you are referring to the license for, right? So right now it's set to featured image, but I'll show you how to utilize this um, in a diverse way or easier way. Let's not change the setting right now. The next option is the actual license. For example, you might have a default license for images on your site. Let's say uh, you are a website owner and you create some uh, infographics, you create some sort of like, uh, I'd say research material in form of images, which you want other people to use under a Creative Commons license. Maybe you want them to attribute you. So you have a page dedicated on your website where you just say, okay, this is how you can utilize my images. This is my default license. So what you can do is uh, add that license or the page ex exactly. What you can do is add the URL of the page that contains that licensing details here. Now, in most cases, uh, for most websites, the licensing information or licensing details about all the images on a website is consistent, right? It's going to be the same. So right now it's this image or this field is set to new custom field, which means that you can customize this option on a per post basis for every image uh, that you have or for every post that you add the schema on, you might be able to or you'd have the option of customizing this. But most of the cases you might not need to. So in that case, let me just give an example how to simplify this. Let's say you have a page on your website where you uh, give all the details about your images license. So what you can do is go right here and you can use the fixed text option right here, which will open up the text field. And what you can do is just add a URL right here, which uh, to a page that details all the information about your current license. And the next field is, let me just explain what that is, the acquire license page. For example, let's say you have some images on your site and you are uh, not providing those images for free. You have a dedicated license where people can purchase your images and you still, of course, there's, they'll still be bound by the license terms that you have. For example, let's say you have a commercial image available that people can uh, maybe license from you, but you won't allow them to resell it. You won't allow them to maybe use them on commercial projects, for example, television projects. Um, maybe you won't allow them to uh, use it on printed merchandise, but you you fairly allow uh, people to use it on the web. So those details about how people can use your images will go in this field. But where do people actually go and acquire a license, right? For example, let's say you have a page dedicated on your website, which is maybe a contact form, which might be a checkout page where people can directly pay and just acquire licenses. What is that URL? That is what you will add in the acquire license page. And as I mentioned, most uh, websites, small websites, medium-sized websites will have a same page, or I'd say the same page will dedicate or serve as um, a central point for all the images on your site. For example, if you are that kind of a website, you or your clients have a small website where a single page can serve the licensing acquisition page for all the images, all you have to do is go into the fixed text option once again, and just add the URL right here, which will be the URL where you will have the, or have the option of licensing images. Once you've done this, make sure to update the schema right here. And once that's done, let's head into an actual post on your site and I'll show you how to add or apply the licensing information directly, right? So I've opened up a blog post on my website and this is a blog post that I've created with the one of the star templates. It's a photography template. I'll of course leave links down in the description for everything that I'm referring to. And it, uh, this particular blog post has three different images. It has this uh, cover image or I'd say the featured image. Then it has this second image with a beautiful couple. And then the third image uh, with a grandma or I'd say old lady smiling, beautiful images. Now, let's say you want to add image licensing information for all three images. Now we already have created the schema with some basic information filled in. And since we added the schema or we refer to the targeting options as schema being present on all singulars, that means this post should also have or schema pro should show up on this page, right? And it is just scroll to the bottom of the page and you'll find the image licensing options right here. So now what you need to do is add the image licensing options for each of this image or each of these images. This is a requirement by Google. Let me just read out the official statement from the blog post and that will just make things clear for you. 
structured data for or structured data for images, right? Structured data is an association between the image and the page where it appears with the markup, right? Of course, you need to add structured data for every instance an image is used, even if it's the same image. Now, this is very uh, important to understand. And what this means is that let's say you have this image or this image, any of the images on your website and you want uh, them to or you, you add them to multiple posts on your website you have to add the licensing information every time this image is used. This is very important. So right now I have three images right here. I will add three different instances of the schema that we just created on this particular page. And with every different page that I create, I will have to add all the licensing information again. But of course, since we automated most of the process, this is going to be much simpler than what you realize okay it might sound uh, too much work so right now our uh, schema pro of course shows up i'll click this button right here to add one instance for the schema or structured data for a particular image and of course directly what it does it takes the featured image as the basic automated option so now now if i let's say the featured image is already uh, part of the content url and the licensing or the license option where i just mentioned the page where all the license information is that's already filled in and also the acquire license page is already filled in based on the information that I already showed you in the schema options, right? And now I want to add two more instances of the same schema. I'll just go here, click the add button and one more. And now we have three different, uh, I'd say three different options to uh, add the licensing information for all these images. So what I'll do is quickly just copy and paste these options to all three, right? And now I have to select the actual image that I used in this field. And all you have to do is first click this cross icon, which will bring up this option where you can select the actual image. And now you just go to the actual image. This is the image from my media library. I'll select that. And that's, this image is now selected. I'll repeat the same process for this image now and go here. I'll select this image and I'm all done. I have successfully added all the three licensing information for all three images just like that right it's pretty simple and you still retain the customization options or i said the ability to have custom licenses for every image for example let's say the third image you had a you had some idea or maybe just the image means a lot to you you want to have a very specific license and a specific price for this image if somebody wants to license it so what you can do is just replace the links right here to a special page that you create just for this image and that way, this image will have its own dedicated licensing information. Now, if there is a special kind of image on your site, which you want to do this for, let's say multiple images, what you can do is just create a dedicated schema for this image particularly, and then add it to multiple pages. It's a little complex process. If you don't follow, don't worry. I would recommend that you watch uh, some of my previous videos about Schema Pro where I discuss adding multiple schemas to a single page and that'll make things clearer. Of course, if you have any questions about this, make sure to leave that in the comments. Just to keep things simple, I'm just gonna mention how it's done. Right now we have added, uh, just to paraphrase, we have three images on this blog post and for all three images, I added the appropriate licensing information in just a few clicks. Of course, it took a couple of minutes to demonstrate, but this was pretty, pretty simple, right? Just having to click a um, uh, maybe a couple of buttons and then the licensing information is added. So let's update the post, of course, and then we'll do the testing of the schema, right? We also wanna check that schema is being properly loaded on the site. All right, so I had a small glitch, so I cut the video. And uh, what I did was I just refreshed the page as I was mentioning. And one important thing that you need to understand is that let's say you uh, added the schema for or added the structured data for all the image licensing, uh, but you uh, save the post and you refresh the post, right? If you go back to the schema pro options right here, you'll see it's something like this. And you might be like, whoa, where did all the information go? Don't worry, it's not gone anywhere. All you have to do is just click this button and you see all the information is actually right here. We just minimize it to save space on your page, right? It's pretty simple. And the thing I wanted to demonstrate is that when the post was not saved, you might have noticed the content URL and uh, the fields right here were showing up in red because what happened was, or what Schema Pro does is, is tries to identify if you have not filled in any of the mandatory fields in Schema. And 
tries to warn you that, okay, your schema might not pass Google's guidelines if this is in red. So once I updated the post, this is now again in the regular colors. That means schema is telling me, okay, all the fields are now filled in. And now the post is updated. Let's open up the post and I'll quickly do a test in the Google's rich uh, snippet guidelines. So I say in the Google rich results testing tool, and I'll show you how the tests appear for these images. So I quickly ran the test on Google's rich results testing tool. And of course the page is eligible for rich results, but the more important detail is image licensing are, or image licenses are now being detected for all three images on your website. If you see right here, you will see the image object type, the content URL type, the licensing page and the acquire license page all coming up here in the intended way or the way we configured this. And this just makes it easy for Google to understand. And once Google has passed this information, the index is updated, you'll start seeing the same uh, license information that I just demonstrated in the beginning of the video, which is right here. So you might see this watermark on your images in Google images. And of course you will have these options right here as well about license details. And that's about it, how to add uh, the licensing information or image licensing information to your WordPress website's images using Schema Pro. It's a pretty simple thing, or I say the process is quite simple. I hope I did a decent job in explaining this. Of course, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments. And if you have feedback for this feature, also leave that down in the comments. And if you wanna check out Schema Pro, you're not already a customer, links are down below in the description of this video. Make sure to check them out as well. And of course, like this video, share it with someone, subscribe to our channel, turn on notifications, you're watching and listening to Yuvraj from the Brainstorm Force team, makers of Schema Pro. I'll catch you in the next video. Till then, take care, stay safe, and have fun.